Well, just like clockwork, my package just came, my next package. I think this is it for the rest of the stuff today. I think I have to check my order to see if anything is still out for delivery or if this is it. This is a big box, but I did order a lot of stuff, so we'll see. So in this box are my bedroom um, nightstand lamps. Um, when I revamped my entire room, every piece of furniture, the bed, the dressers, the vanities, the nightstands, the lamps, the curtains, everything was brand new. Everything. I completely took all the old out and brought all the new in. And I based it around one dresser that I had previously gotten um, a little bit before I put everything else. So the dresser was new. I just got it um, a little bit earlier than the rest of the stuff and it was black it was an ikea black long dresser and that's what i revolved all my new furniture around was that dresser because i loved it i've been wanting it so i wasn't going to change that and i had just gotten it so yeah but as time has gone by i felt like everything was black too black everything was black so i had to get a pop of color so since the knobs on my dresser were silver um, I thought I need to include a little bit of silver in there. Well, eventually, I'm hoping that I can get some mirrored nightstands because I got a lot of mirrored, on top of my dresses, a lot of mirrored jewelry boxes. My watch case is mirrored. My perfume tray is mirrored. Everything is mirrored. So that's the ultimate look that I want to go for to go with my black furniture is mirrored nightstands. So, but they're very expensive. So that's going to take a little time. <laughs> So I found some silver mirrored lamps to give it that pop of silver. And I chose silver because, like I said, my knobs to the dressers were silver. So I thought, okay, I'm going to base on that because they had some beautiful rose gold. But I have nothing in my room rose gold. They have black, but that's what I'm trying to steer away from. Too much black and stuff. So, yeah. So that's what's in this box. Then I bought some hooks, like for keys and stuff. But one of the hook sets is going to be for my purse collection, as you've seen in um, my room, I have um, my entire collection on my wall by my dresser, and they're all hung on on thumbtacks. And there's like maybe five purses on that one thumbtack, and it's holding up, but eventually any little bat, um, wrong movement or whatever, it's just going to come flying down. And so I needed something sturdy, something strong, and I wanted it silver to also... Um, go with that pop of color that I'm doing with the nightstand lamps and stuff. So I'm going to include a lot of silver where I can. Um, and that's one of the things. And it's very sturdy, strong hooks. So I will know that my purses are um, stable, even though they're not heavy purses. But because of the fact that there's so many, that's what I needed. So I got that set, um, which is that one right there, actually. This is the one. Is this the one? No, maybe this is not. I think this is the one. I bought three different ones. I bought one for, oh God. I'm trying to watch my granddaughter and do this is not the same. Let me get it. So th this is the actual hook. I bought three different sets. This is the one that I'm going for. It is so strong, so sturdy, and I just love the shiny silver. And it has various hooks. It has so much space for all the purses I have and many many more i can't wait it's so pretty i can't wait to put it up so and it has the double hooks um let me see if i put it on the table has the double hooks here so i can put a, per, a lot of purses on this side a lot of purses on this side and there's like what six of those one two three four five of those then it has more hooks here of the double hooks and then it has these big long sticky out hooks which i could put like more heavier purses so I just need to screw it in, which it does come with the screws. I'm just dropping everything. Then this, this one I got because I wasn't sure which one I would like best. Um, I kind of figured the other one that I just showed you was the one that I would like. But just in case, I wanted to buy an extra one just to be ready. This one also has, they have one single hook here, but it's really huge. So you can put a lot of uh, purses on here and then they have some hooks in between that you also put like at least three or four purses on there um and then here's where the screw goes um the other one is much more elegant than this one which i like because i like it to be a shiny nice silver so i'm definitely um liking the other one better but i'm glad that i got this one um as an extra in case i need it for anything else or if i need even more than that 
kind of purse thing. See if that other hook is not enough for all the purses I'm going to have, but it should be enough because um, I might get more purses here and there, but I think I'm pretty done with my collection, but I know that I'll get purses here and there. But really being into it and collecting them, I think I've got all the ones that I really love. Um, and just, I'll just add here and there instead of going full force, which I've already done. So yes, yeah, so I got this one as extra just in case um, the one that I just showed you in this box doesn't work. Um, and maybe I'll just put this away in case I should ever need it or if I find something else for it. Because I also have my mask collection, which is getting way full, but I like where my mask where my mask are hanging. I like that one as well. So I don't think I'll be changing that. Um, but I'll figure out what this can be used for, if not for my purses. This is another one that I got for by the front door. It says home and it has the color um, theme um, of my dining room, which is kind of a brown with beige rustic look. Um, I wanted it to be bigger. And so in here you can hold all your mail. Um, in here you can hold anything on top of it, like a candle or whatever you want to put on top of this maybe an air freshener or whatever like the fact that it says home and here I like that it had more hooks than the one we have now so because we were kind of mixing our disposable face mask because sometimes people come to the door and we're like, where's our mask where's our mask and we're going crazy looking for masks so I wanted to have some disposable mask ready just in case we needed to grab a mask um, but they were a little bit too close to our keys so I figured three of these a four could go for the keys and the other two or three for the mask and they wouldn't be that close but it would be right there by the front door this is beautiful it's smaller than what I thought it would be from the picture but I like it that it's smaller because I thought the other one what the size that I thought it was gonna be actually was gonna be really big and bulky so this is this actually turned out nice that it's smaller and then I love it has the heart where the O is supposed to be at home. And I like that it has a section for your recent mail. And so every time we come home, we check our mail and we put it somewhere else. Of course, we put it away. But at least we know that the mail that's here just came that day and we need to look through it. And I'll figure out what I'm going to put here. Um, but I love that it has a lot of hooks. So it's going to look really nice. So this is it right here. It's right below my son and my daughter's pictures. And uh, family picture when my daughter Diana was little she's like gonna be 31 so it's a dear dear picture so yeah we have it right here which the door is right here so as soon as you go out you grab your keys you don't have to worry about losing your keys which it has happened a lot to us and sometimes even though we have this we still lose keys because we I don't I know where my keys are at all times my daughter she just somehow loses it on the bed and thinks it's in the purse I told her you need to just depend on this since you lose keys really easily. This is what you need to depend on to keep you sane. And my husband, he does. He does put his keys up here. <clears throat> He's good at that. And so, um, as you see, so this is a Nightbird um, smart bedside lamp that I got. It supposedly changes 16 million colors. Can you believe that? Um, it works with Alexa. Amazon Alexa, which I have, and it also works with Google Assistant if you have that. It has voice control, remote control, time schedule, device sharing. It has, it does so much. And even though I already bought two sets of bedside lamps, like I was telling you, the shiny silver to bring that pop of color because it matches the silver knobs on my room, which will break down all the black that I have. I still wanted to get this. I don't know if I'll also have this on my... Um, nightstand or if I'll put it in another dresser in the room but I really wanted to have this smart bedside lamp and just knowing all the stuff that it does and that it works with Amazon Alexa and all the fun things I can do with it and just you know voice control it like change the color change the darkness make it warm color all the stuff that I could tell it to do like I do my Alexa is just going to be so much fun and who doesn't want a smart bedside lamp and it's by Nightbird so yeah I can't wait to try it. I'll show you what it looks in a minute. So this is my two-pack USB crystal table lamp, which is similar to the one I have now, except my shade is um, black. 
and this is crystal it's silver so it's completely different as far as the material and the coloring the other one is kind of material shade in black um, but this you can touch control it so you can it's like three or four settings here if you touch this area and it has settings here I think three and four steps right here if you touch the base as well it has USB charging too like my other lamp has now but it's more elegant more sophisticated like I said it'll bring that pop of silver color out to all the black that I have and the fact that you can touch this one my other one you can't it has a like a a chain that you just push down that's how you turn on the light this is all touch which I just love and just the fact that it just has that elegant shiny incorporation and it'll bring my pop of color out so nice and all the stuff it can do as well and of course I didn't want to miss out on the USB charging like I have on my other one so I can't wait it's a pack of two I'm gonna put one on my side one on my husband's side can't wait to show you what it looks like so these are my new bedside lamps that I got they're the same style as my lamps right there. I already took them down. Um, these are the lampshades by my bedside that I have. This one was by my husband's. This one was by mine. They're really nice still. They work perfect. They still look good. Um, my shade at one time came off because I leaned against it. But it's pretty stable. Um, so they look good. So now I have to find a purpose for them or... One of my kids, maybe they can make use out of them. Um, so it's that same style, except it's silver crystal now. So that's what it looks like before I get it out of the box. Oh, my God. God I guess you got to be careful to get it out because... Ah, oh, I need to be careful. Okay, let me do this. So I still have my pajamas on, so... That's why I'm not really facing myself, and plus it's hard to do with one hand, so I'm trying to pick it out. You do have to be careful with these, because you could pull, it has the charging thing, so if you pull this plug, it might pull it out, like I'm thinking it's already doing. Um, but it's crazy, because it's just tied to this thing. There you go. So... I can get it out of here. My God, this is, I mean, you're thankful that it's packaged nice, but that's what it looks like. It's silver. It's crystal. It's so beautiful. Oh my God. Can't wait to get it installed. This one will be mine. And this is the base. This is the bulb. Okay, come on out. Oh my God, everything is so tight. You're thankful, but my God. I'm going to have to push it through from the other side. Put the bulb in. Untie this plug here. And then the shade is... Oh, how's the shade going to go in if I have the light bulb in? Maybe I have to put the shade first. Yep. Then the light bulb in, which is hard. because It's hard to get your, your hand in there. <clears throat> okay. Okay, nice and tight. That's how it looks with the base. It has a rubber thing. Under here, I don't know why it's feeling loose. Did I not do it right? It's feeling wangy. The bulb's in tight. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'm supposed to take the other piece out. No? Oh, yeah. I think I'm supposed to take this part <laughs> and then put it on we'll see if that makes a difference do then you put this back on to tighten it there whoa okay not for sure that's what you do 
Come on, Carmen. You could do this. My God. This is... Oh my God, this is so hard to do. Okay, let me do it. Figure it out. Okay, it does need to have that cap. So there's a protective cap on there, which you can see on here. This one right here. You have to take that off, and then you put your lamp shade on, and then you take this cap and you put it back on to keep it st steady, stable, whatever, and then you put your light bulb on. I think this is how the other one went as well. I can't remember, it's been a while. So now, there it is together. So now I'm gonna put it my husband's side and see how it goes. Okay, it's set up. This is my husband's side. I'm gonna touch it. Then I touch it here. Amazing, amazing, I love it. We'll do it again. That is so nice. And then I already plugged his um, chargers back in. So let me show you mine. So the thing with this one now is it will show your fingerprints when you're tapping it, but a good wipe um, with the wipe or just a rag will be fine when you're not in you when you're not using it. But this is mine. Isn't that amazing? amazing mine's has a lot of cords here there's just no way i'm going to get rid of that that's kind of why i put my outlet hung on a strip and i put this acrylic holder for my power strips and my chargers i have my watch there my michael kors watch there because i just charged it so i'm going to put it back in its display um that's why i put them on the wall with very strong strips and screws so it could release space from a nightstand because as you can see these nightstands are not very big I'm looking into getting some different ones, um, maybe some black ones, but wider and bigger with maybe three drawers. But ultimately, I really want mirrored nightstands, which I found some, but they're, it's like two for $3.79. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm not, not that I'm not ready. I could do that purchase, but I really want to finish my living room with the sofas and the um, night, um, the end table and the coffee table. I want to purchase all of that first. And then of course I'll have, um, time to invest in my mirror drawers. So yeah, so I think I'm going to keep these until I do get those mirror drawers because I don't want to keep buying and keep changing. Um, and I wipe this down. I don't know why. Just like I did. Um, but yeah, so it looks so nice. It gives it, I had to move my pillow to get to the plug um so it gives it that pop of color that i needed as you can see there it gives it that pop of color let me turn it on because you can see it better turn both on so I like the shiny silver part, which is the base and the um, cylinder, I call them a cylinder, along with the crystals, gives it that elegant look, gives it that pop of color silver. And the reason why I chose silver is because the knobs on these things and on the dressers are silver. So I went with that. Otherwise, if I didn't have silver knobs and they were just black, I probably would've got the rose gold ones. But you see, my knobs on here are all silver. This is silver. Oh, you can see my pajamas. And the dresser over there, they're all silver. This one doesn't have buttons. So if it was like that or black um, knobs, I would have probably went the rose gold because they're so, so pretty. Um, but so I kind of went wrapped around that idea. So that's why I got the silver, but the silver are just as beautiful. I'm loving them. So Hopefully you can see that pop of color and the beauty of it. This is not the end. I'm gonna do a few changes in this room and I'll let you know what they are. So my Nightbird Smart Bedside Lamp is finally set up. My daughter helped me. She went through the instructions. She knows how to do the app. We set up all my account and everything. So it changes colors. The only thing, right now it's on blue because April's Autism Awareness Month, so I wanted it to be blue. Um, 
and I control it by my phone, which is nice, but I also can control it by my um, Alexa, but my Alexa's in the living room. So I'm debating, should I get an Alexa for my room? I just go to my living room, but what if I want to do it at night? I would probably have to do it from my phone, which my phone is right next to me, so no biggie. But I'm really tempted to get an Alexa for my room. That way I can control lighting, I can control all kinds of stuff. So, I don't know, what do you think? So it looks good. And then of course my new sterling silver crystal bedside lamps that also run by touch. Touch the crystal part or touch the bit, the base and it turns on the light. So everything is looking good. Yes. So I just wish I had a bigger nightstand so it didn't look cluttery. Even though everything's organized, because of the cords running from different ways, it looks cluttery. And I thought by putting the power strip and putting this, it would help it not look so cluttery. But no, all that the good that it does is that it saves me space on the nightstand. So these two things, instead of being on the nightstand, they're up here, which does save me space on here, which is what I really need. So it does work great for that. I just wish there was another system that I can hide the cords and, and not look cluttery on that. But for the rest, it's clean and organized. Um, but I guess I'll figure that out. And of course, when I get bigger nightstands, that'll help a lot. Um, so yeah, so I'm very happy with my new silver crystal bedside lamps. I'm really happy with also with my Nightbird bedside, smart bedside lamp. 